Did you get to pick up the golf clubs today? <laughs> Every I, well, today I went to the the range a little bit, but dude, I've been playing like twice a week when normally I'm, I'm like normally playing five times a week. Dude. I play every morning, like first tee time, and now I'm like slowing down a little bit because I'm I don't want to burn myself out, so I'm yeah. trying to slow down a little bit. Down there in Florida, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got year round, baby. yeah, burn yourself out real quick. We're up here in West Virginia. There's uh, our golf courses are about shut down now. The snow's on the ground. We're struggling. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've never been to virginia before or west virginia but i can imagine it's cold i'm from michigan originally so yeah what part of florida you you living in uh sarasota it's just south of tampa good yeah. area oh yeah we know we spent a whole summer in st pete for baseball for uh, oh, our college yeah. summer we are at st pete and in bradenton and, and tampa we spent a little couple long nights out there for sure <laughs> yeah dude it's a it's a cool area i mean sarasota is weird because it's just all old people so i gotta get i'm still getting used to that but other than that I'm i'm to myself most of the time anyways but you uh yeah you handling the neighbors well some of that stuff is hilarious yeah dude um so my other neighbor right here just to the like just right next to me is actually <laughs> hilarious walks up to me he's like dude i she doesn't even say anything else dude i've seen your videos <laughs> whatever whatever we talk about it and i'm like dude if you ever see me doing weird shit just know i'm, I'm making a video he comes out three days ago and i'm jump i'm like jumping off the roof doing that video you saw today and he's like what the fuck <laughs> so yeah oh man that's awesome yeah we appreciate you coming on man they uh the uh the michigan stuff I, I know you're from there what do you think about it right now they got a chance to make a run at this or what uh you know my best friend down here in florida only friend i've made is an fsu fan and my god i, have, <laughs> I saw him in tears yesterday or the last two days i've seen him yeah. in tears dude i feel really bad for him but now he's a michigan fan <laughs> and he's rooting with me so it's like this combination of sfu or fsu fans and michigan fans coming together just to try and take down bama yeah facts uh, <laughs> but my mom is an alabama alum so it's like oh it's, man yeah, there's this cla like clash right now but dude i i don't know alabama's like you, i mean you guys know alabama alabama's the team dude they're like they're like back in the day other than georgia they're like the patriots and they're prime dude like facts. can't beat alabama but now i think we have a chance i do i think i think michigan's got a chance it's gonna be a good game it's gonna be a great game man we'll see dude i'm excited it's gonna be sick i like i like michigan to to cover there and uh man it's gonna be a blast to watch so who you root for in the nfl too ah uh, man i i mean i'm pats fan sadly still <laughs> you know I, my dad's from boston dude so like when i was born it was like injected into my blood my dad <laughs> cried when they lost flipped the whole house when they won so it was like i was just kind of raised that way um and then brady came down to tampa and that's right when i moved down so i was like oh dude this is sweet uh but i i just can't get myself to like jump over teams so no i'll stick with my pats but yeah dude it's gonna uh, it's gonna be good though once you guys get a quarterback next year it's gonna yeah it, it's gonna yeah. take care of itself though so yeah whatever man i wish mac Jones would have really done something to be honest with you but hey Hey, so tell me a little bit about tell me a little bit of how you got started. I mean, the YouTube success right now is unbelievable too. But I mean, the videos are hilarious. Did you know when you were getting done high school, like getting done all that? This is the stuff you wanted to do. I mean, I feel like it's so natural for you for the videos you make, and and you kind of just took that comedy route. Was it always your goal and plan to kind of move that way? Well, I appreciate that a lot, um, dude. So this this is actually a great story, and <laughs> I've, I've told it to a few people, so I I'm glad I can I can tell you guys, but. So college, I was delivering pizzas. Uh, I was delivering pizzas every single night, dude. Like 60 bucks a night was a great night. And I was <laughs> yes, very, absolutely. Very, like that was a great night. And, you know, uh, living with the parents for my sophomore year of college. And they're like, hey, we're moving to Florida. I'm like, oh, crap, dude. That sounds kind of <laughs> nice. But um, so we're about to move. And I show my dad. I was streaming on Twitch. That's how I started. I was streaming Fortnite on Twitch. And I showed my dad a check for twenty five hundred dollars. I got that, <laughs> month, which was a really good month. Twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. And he goes, he goes, dude, get a real like real job. You can't like this is not gonna work out. And um, dude, I don't know. I moved down to Florida and I had no safety net. I I didn't re enroll in school. I had. No, I was boy. just like, I'm just gonna full send this dude and see what happens. And I wasn't even making TikToks at that time. I started making TikToks when I was like in florida for six months i was like dude i should start making tiktok <laughs> and um one accidentally like kind of blew up and it was so stupid that i can't really remember what it was but it was like a stupid streaming video that blew up got eight million views since that day it changed like i have not like it was just 
it was from here to there yeah it's in awesome one day yeah dude it was it was crazy and um i gained a million followers on tiktok in th like two months or one month <laughs> or whatever it was it was insane i was like dude what in the world and then youtube was a whole year later that just i just re-uploaded stuff and that just took off and then instagram all that stuff so dude it's been like a four-year journey um it's awesome it was, man. Tough. it was tough one, but it was fun dude it was fun well, do you feel like you were always the funniest dude in your class or like of your friend group how's how's that because i think that's yeah. some of the funniest stuff because some of our best friends are just it's it's hilarious how funny people are so i was wondering yeah. like were you always the funniest dude in your group or, or how's that kind of work Dude, I was thinking about this today, actually, funny enough, and I was so shy in school, dude. I didn't I didn't talk to people. It's so funny. Like, my wife is, uh, she went to the same high school as me, and I didn't really talk to her a whole lot. <laughs> so after high school, I grew, I grew a pair, dude, and I was like, I started to get out of my shell after high school, and that college just turned me into a different person, I feel like. So, no, I would say I was the funniest <laughs> dude in high school. I just kind of like, I always had them in my brain, like the thoughts. Like, I'm, I'm kind of witty, but I never really executed anything because I wasn't really super confident or you know outgoing so hey, yeah big I, turn that that's actually really cool so i want to go back real quick so you started your your start kind of was on twitch you made twenty five hundred dollars in a month i mean that's the, damn that's dude. impressive because I, I do a little myself and it shit that ain't easy oh no dude it's not easy but like i said i was that was like full time at that point so like mm -hmm. i quit my pizza job started <laughs> doing twitch and i was making like just enough to pay my rent put a little aside once i got to florida pay my rent put a little bit aside whatever Dude, I, but yeah, I mean, a really good month back then, like, which is crazy because I had 40 viewers and they were just insane, like subscriptions, donations, all this yeah. stuff. I, they they kept me afloat <laughs> for like two years or else I would not be doing what I did today because 40 people, I'm not, I'm not lying to you, 40 people watched me. And they kept <laughs> dude, me that, I'm playing Fortnite. That's so cool. Oh, that's so badass. did you, so was your content, was it like, were you kind of going off of like you being good at Fortnite or was it kind of more comedy? Yeah, dude, I'm, I was a crazy mother. Like, I was not good at Fortnite. I was doing backflips. <laughs> like, I remember I did a backflip, and I landed on my neck, and my nose was, like, broken, and I was bleeding all over the place. And I was, like, unconscious for a minute on the floor. Like, I'm, like doing stupid stuff just yeah, to yeah. entertain people. But, like, that's where always my brain. I know I'm not good at video games. I know I'm not the most whatever. I can't compete with these kids, so I'm just going to do stupid stuff to try and, you know, make them laugh. Dude, that's awesome. That was my route. Did, yeah. do, you, do you do any uh, still? Do you play any at all or, like, Dude, any streaming? So, yeah, so streaming was a huge thing for me because, I mean, I was streaming every day five to six days a week. Like, it was rare I even took one day off a week. And, you know, me and Kayla had moved in together, and it kind of <laughs> infected our relationship a little bit where I was, like, I was just, like, streaming all the time, dude and she didn't really like that i was like you know and it was i swear it was the craziest timing i remember i got my first big brand deal the week i quit streaming i just like i just said stop i stopped streaming i almost gave up i almost quit i almost stopped and i was just i can't do it i was making good money but i just couldn't do it i was burnt out and i remember i got a brand deal and i was like huh <laughs> dude, there's no way I can make videos off of these are money off the videos I'm already making. I didn't even know you could make money on TikTok. Yeah. And I had two million followers and I still wasn't even making money off of it. And I was like, dude, this is crazy. Stop streaming. And it's like, yeah, my life's good now. Yeah, dude. And it, it worked out. It worked out. But that's awesome, yeah. man. I want to know a little bit about the cars. Um, I, I mean, yeah. was that were you always a car guy growing up? And then kind of once you got this, the, the your platform and how much success you had, was it like, I know what I'm going to get immediately? Dude, it's so funny. So uh, I, I I wouldn't I mean, my first car was a Honda CRV. Totaled it. <laughs> Second car was a Scion TC a stick shift. So my dad picks me up in school in a stick shift. Never driven one before. He goes, all right, this is blah, 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 clutch shift whatever drive me home so i drove 20 minutes home never knowing how to do it It was a terrible drive but after that i was like dude this is fun so i i broke three more cars after that and then once the whole i have a bmw in the garage and i have the porsche in the garage but i never posted videos of them ever because i didn't think people would be interested in them i was always the dude doing my content's changed over time like it's evolved completely yeah. compared to what it was i used to just do stuff at my desk like 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 podcast stuff too I but I, strictly what I would do and I was just like I wanted to try and get into the vlog space a little bit I wanted to get out of the house a little bit because I had been streaming <laughs> for four years I was like let's do some so I just started doing videos of the car I was like oh my gosh people love the car stuff dude so ever since then I'm it's honestly that's so funny you say that because yeah six months ago nobody would have ever brought up a car no dude it's badass I had them at the time I never <laughs> made videos of it. it was just funny but yeah
I think one of the funniest things, and I can't tell, and I think this is one of the best things about you, you can't tell if you're acting. It all looks real. Like when you're making the videos with Kayla and, and, and you're, you know what I mean? It looks like stuff that, yeah. that people would yeah. actually talk about like in their living room, in their kitchen, and, it, yeah. and you just turn the camera on, which is the best dude, part. Yeah, so I mean like the streaming stuff and all that stuff, like dude, I was just taking clips from Twitch. I was posting whatever. And then I was, and then, you know, so obviously some of them are fabricated. That's, that's, that's social media. But like, yeah, my, my girl is cool with it. Other things I just get a like, oh, that's funny. That happened. I just tossed it <laughs> into the video. It's like, oh, then other times like, oh, what if we did this? And then we'll, I'll, dude, now I'm spending like two, three hundred, four hundred dollars thousand dollars on like a short form video to make it because I know if I just put props or invest a little bit of money to do to buy a Christmas tree, make a video out of that, or <laughs> buy a crap ton of lights, put on the house, or whatever it is. I'm like, dude, we can just do so. We can make up any like funny story. Some of them are like, yo, this, things just happen, and I just piece it together. I'm like, oh, that was funny. <laughs> so it just depends. It just depends, really. That this is probably a tough question for you. Have has there been an idea or like a video that you've made that you're like, damn, this one is gonna gonna be good, or like, do you have a favorite one that you've done? Mm, dude, that is a great that's right that's a tough I, yeah, yeah yeah actually i do i do my it's funny enough this is a funny story so it was a brand deal actually it wasn't technically a brand deal they weren't paying me but they were giving me a, like a discount it was when i got my car wrapped and they were like yo can you you know just make a video tag us in it you know of us changing but it, porsche was red they wrapped it black and i was like yeah sure so i did this whole cinematic video and i i would i will you know, have to look at it later but this whole cinematic video and I have never put so t much time and effort into it. And it <laughs> ended up doing like on all platforms, like a hundred million views, but it wasn't even the fact that it did so well. It was the fact that I, it, it felt like a movie scene, yeah. like, which I, which I really liked. And I was like, dude, that was hilarious. So that's one of my favorites for sure. But there is one clip that has easily, I, I it easily has a billion views over like <laughs> So many people have reposted. It's a thank you, Jimmy one. It's like me and Kayla sitting down and someone donates to me and they're like, uh, I forgot what exactly what they say, but basically you're so lucky and or you're, you're so good looking or something like that. And Kayla goes, oh, thank you. And then the donation like paused for a second. Goes, you're a lucky girl. And it's like everybody like everybody just kept reposting it. Bro. I, like I will go on Instagram like two days from now and I'll see the clip of it with like a million likes. And I'm like, this is crazy. That that was a three year old clip, but it still gets posted everywhere. It's wild. Do you have to turn your notifications off uh when you post things because it's so it's so ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't I'm have sure. notifications on yeah, anything sure. nowadays just because like not that yeah, I mean it's just You'd be scrolling to get anything. It's just kind of like clogged up everything. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have them on. Anymore. I think one of the funniest, I think one of the f hardest I've laughed, and you know how it is when you get on Instagram and you start scrolling, you could be stuck scrolling oh, for dude. 30 minutes. I remember one of the hardest I laughed is the video you made about the Monopoly, like the Monopoly and paying rent. And the guy, that the guy, so was that one of your buddies or, or cousins that was sitting next to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was, uh, that was actually uh, like a friend of a friend. And, um, dude, at the time, it was a friend of a friend. He's a good friend of mine now. But um, it was so funny because I remember buying the Monopoly and Kayla was, we're never going to play that. Like, don't, why would you waste your money on it? And like the next day, I was like, see, I knew it would come in handy. I was yeah. like, I knew, I knew that would come in handy. And she, yeah, but anyway. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Hey, um, yeah, when we get down to Florida, we're going to have to pick those golf clubs up. I wanted to ask you this. We're, we're a sports, we're a sports podcast and we're a movie podcast, everything. We had this, okay. we had this debate. If you have a four stroke lead going into 18 against, let's just say the number one guy in the world right now, let's say it's, let's, let's say it's tiger prime tiger. Okay. You got okay. a, you got a four stroke lead going into 18 on, let's just say, I don't know. Let's just say a PGA course. You think you can end it and win the whole thing. If you're, in, if you're, if you got a four stroke lead, four stroke lead. Best case scenario for him, he birdies. Worst case scenario <laughs> for me, you know. So, I, I think I could. I, yeah. I think I could. And but that I. But I'm. I'll be honest with you. It's, it's iron off the tee. It's <laughs> whatever yeah, club same. I know I can get in the vicinity of the same. green. And it, I'm. But then again, dude, you get me in a four footer to finish <laughs> out. I might four putt it. You know what I mean? In that scenario, I don't know. That's the problem. You sound like the rest of us. We're right there with you, man. But cool. Yeah. Well, hey, we appreciate you, man. Thanks for taking time with us. This is awesome. Um, yeah, dude. Thanks for having me. We're wishing you the best of luck. Hey, I wanted to ask you, what's because you have so much exposure now to to your whole the content world in front of you and all the cameras and everything. What's long term for you? You you got to be thinking something with with the editing and all yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, definitely. Uh, 
I've thought into some acting and looking into some acting of some sort, but also we've, there's just so many with the legal things of creating a business and like, I had a, I had a really good idea and it just legally didn't work out correctly. And I've been trying to work on a product for so long. So that's, that's a huge goal of mine right now. And then, you know, I invest pretty heavily and then also just getting into maybe some real estate as of right now. But yes, that next thing is I definitely want to get into some sort of acting of some yeah. sort. that is, I think a goal of mine that I'd really want to achieve. Yeah, but, absolutely. Yeah, man. Hey man, I got one question. Oh, your your mic's up. Cool, your mic. Your mic's. Hang on, we got we got here. (laughs) Here you go. We're passing the mic. What the hell happened? (laughs) Oh, here we go. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey man, I just had one one quick question. Uh, for someone like that's starting out in the content business, do you have any advice for somebody just just starting out, kind of like us? Yeah, dude. And I I was actually funny enough. I was looking through your guys' stuff like a few hours ago. Just like I didn't even I like I saw him. He hit me up, and I looked through and found your guys' podcast. I was like, dude, this is cool. This is like uh. I like a Joe Rogan vibe. Like just, <laughs> I like the vibe you guys have where it's just like, I, I don't know. It was just a clean set. You guys are doing well. When did you guys start doing this? Uh, we started, we all played college baseball. And, uh, and as soon as we got out, we started one podcast. Um, and now we got three in a, in a radio show and we got a beer underneath of us. Yeah, so we it, sell beer. Through yeah, West oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the beer, dude. That's, that's, that's awesome. I mean, the one thing I would say is like consistency, but uh, obviously you really want to focus on quality. You don't want to just push junk out because then you'll be, you know, pushed over to the side of people that just spam post junk. Yeah. You want to be on, you want to be on consistent, but quality. So you really want to think about it and um, just find you dude. Cause people are going to invest in who you guys are as a brand or a group of people. And that's, what's going to split you up from the other people. But I would just say, be confident in your post and, you know, make sure it is what you guys are trying to portray and it'll, it'll hit, it'll be hit if you're confident in it. 100%. Absolutely. Facts. Last yeah. one too. What do you think the, uh, what do you think the largest animal is that you could beat in an octagon? Oh, goodness. <laughs> and come dude, out and I, come out with an actual win. Like I'm not talking. Like, dude, I'm 150 pounds. So maybe <laughs> if, if I go take a poop right now, I'll weigh a buck 30, dude. I'm telling you right now, it depends. So Largest animal. Hey, you can't Largest. you can't down yourself for saying you're 150. Our second baseman in college was 150 pounds. He's one of the strongest yeah. dudes we ever met. So I mean, yeah, it's 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 so funny. My younger brother, dude, full beard, jacked. I, I don't yep. know. He might be taking roids of some. I don't know, but <laughs> he's way bigger than me. Um, dude, biggest animal I could take in an octagon. Like you Honest? think you're you think you're good against a like you you gonna be okay against a wolf? Oh. Oh, yeah, see, I, unless I get in a choke lock right there, maybe, but I still Wolves think it's big, on. man. They are. They're Wolves big are big. Animals. And I'm like immediately thinking like monkeys, like orangutans, chimpanzees. No, I, none of them. They would no. all. They're scary. No. So, dude, what if like, I, I think I could, I, not a kangaroo. I think I could take a deer though. It's, yeah, oh, yeah, like deer. I like a doe like though. No antlers, none of that. If I get pants, I'm done. But I think I could take on a, a deer. I like that. Sweet. All right, man. Well, yeah. hey, we appreciate you taking time. Um, yeah, like we're down in Florida a lot, so we'll pick those golf clubs up and uh, and and we'll have to get after it, man. So yeah, we'll- man. Thanks for the invite. Uh, yeah, let me know when you guys are down here. We'll do it. Yeah, we appreciate you coming on, man. Keep working hard. Stay out of trouble. Yes, sir. Oh, you yeah, too, nice brother. Nice to meet Peace. you, man. See ya. Nice to meet you guys. Bye. See ya.